Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Card Sub channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I have is I can't say no. The scripture comes from Jeremiah 46, 3 through 5. Prepare your shields, both large and small, and march out for battle. Harness the horses, mount the steeds. Take your positions with helmets on. Polish your spears, put on your armor. What do I see? They are terrified. They are retreating. Their warriors are defeated. They flee in haste without looking back, and there is terror on every side, declares the Lord. God says that he cannot say no. He cannot say no. He cannot say no. You know, um, there is somebody that is really praying against a judgment that God put out on a place. And, um, I don't, you know, I can't say specifically what place it is, but there is somebody you are really praying against it. And you have really been, um, begging God to have mercy. You have been begging God to, to leave it be. You have been begging God for forgiveness. You have been begging God to forgive the people. But, um, the problem is you are praying for God to forgive people who don't care to pray for God to forgive them. They are carrying on with their foolishness. They are carrying on like it doesn't matter. They are carrying on as if they don't care. And God says he is not listening to that. He can't say no. Because look at them. They're not repenting. They're not repentant. They're doing as they please. They're doing whatever they want to. So just because you have faith and you are scared, you are one person. God is going to make sure that you are safe and that you are just fine. But in reality, you cannot expect that he is not going to punish these people. God says that they, they are terrified. They are retreating. They are warriors. The warriors are defeated. They flee in haste without looking back. And there is terror on every side. In reality, um... I feel like for somebody, it's so bad that you may be the only person who is repentant. You are at, it's, it's to a point to where you, God has already made provisions for you to leave. Regardless if they have made, it, it's been made clear to you and you know about it or not. You may be in a position to where you are the only person there. You are like, like, uh, what was that message? I think God said I wanted to send a fish to the sea, a something, a fish to the, a fish to the tub, a fish to the bowl, or something like that. Where it's you are the only one. Everybody else don't care. You've been sent there to save them. You've been sent there to try to get as many people to repent as they possibly can. But ain't nobody repenting. They carrying on the way that they feel like it. They don't care about what you got to say. And it might have even gotten to a point to where they are literally trying to attack you. They are literally trying to cause you harm. They are literally trying to do harm to you. And God says he is about to get you out of there. And he is seeking war against them. And that's that. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.